Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to connect the Davis Vantage Pro 2 to the Weatherlink platform via Weatherlink Live. Prior to Weatherlink connection, your Vantage Pro 2 ISS and console should be set up, connected to a power source and communicating. To begin, download the Weatherlink app on your phone and log into your Weatherlink account. If you do not have a Weatherlink account, click sign up, then follow the prompts to create a new account. Once signed in, click the account icon on the top right corner. Click add next to devices. Select the unit to be set up, in this case Weatherlink Live. Power up your Weatherlink Live using the included power cable. You can also insert four AA batteries to use as a backup power source. Once powered up, the blue LED light on the Weatherlink Live will start blinking. Click next. Ensure your mobile's Bluetooth is switched on, then click connect. Enter a name for your Weatherlink Live, then click next. Enter your location. You can either find it on the map or enter it into the search bar. Click next. Read the service agreement and click agree. Once you click agree, wait as the phone attempts to connect to the weather link. The next step is to select your internet connection. Click use Wi-Fi, then click next. Select your Wi-Fi network, then click next again. Enter your Wi-Fi password. Click next and wait as your internet connectivity is verified. If the connection fails at this stage, retry your password. When connection is established, the first two screens ask if you would like to update to Weatherlink Pro. You can either choose to upgrade or continue using BASIC. You can upgrade this at any time. The Weatherlink Live is now installed. The last step is to connect to station. Click Add Stations and Sensors. Select the ID number corresponding to your setup David's Vantage Pro 2 station. If you can't recall the ID number, you can find it on the inside of the transmitter shelter. There's even a handy guide to the switches so you don't need to refer back to your manual. For this example, our station is on 7. Select Vantage Pro 2 for the sensor type, then click Next. Select the type of Vantage Pro 2 that you have, then click Next again. Check or uncheck the sensors that you have on your Vantage Pro 2. For this example, we did not set up the anemometer, so we'll uncheck Wind. When your sensors are selected, click Next. Select your rain collector type. Click Next. Give your weather station a name. Click Next. Your station will now appear under the selected ID number with the details you entered. The last step is to click Save. The device will now appear with no information. Leave the device for some time to connect. It should connect within 15-20 minutes. In some instances, it does take longer. After 15 or so minutes, refresh the app. Clicking away from the station, then back into it should do the trick. As you can see, the data from our station has begun to upload to the Weatherlink Cloud. Weatherlink Live is now set up. Under the device page, we can see the Weatherlink station name, location, current weather data. The seven day and hourly forecast. Outdoor feels like an indoor temperature and humidity information. An hourly average graph will appear here when the station collects more data. All your rain information, a rainfall graph will appear here too. Wind information and a wind information graph. Barometric pressure with a graph. And lastly, records. Use the arrows to move between parameters and review your records. And that's how to set up Weatherlink Live. For more information on Weatherlink Live or other Davis weather stations, contact an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.